Hello everyone out here, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbed Designs. If you're joining me for the first time, I want to encourage you to please hit on the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video each time I upload a new video. Alright, in today's tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up your actually you can see I'm using Corel Draw 2019 okay I'm going to be showing you how to customize your layout your interface that's the way you intend to view your Corel Draw you can see I'll be like now maybe you want to use a dark theme for your Corel Draw or others and so I'm going to be showing you how to actually customize this to your own taste so that you'll be working with your the way you want your corridor to look like so without wasting of time let me just actually just come here come to this place if you're on this icon directly on this dashboard directly you can actually come here and click customization but should in case you're not on this place let me go through the longer way let me just click and add let me just open a new document as if I want to create a work you can see this is how my layout is now now let me I'll now come to tools I'll come to tools option then I'm going to see when I come to tools option then I'm going to see customization just click on the customization then you're going to under appearance you can see there are macros but we are going to be dealing working with appearance for now so under appearance you're going to now you see light you see light then on this light now you're going to click on it and you will see medium dark when you scroll through all this you see like now if I should select dark this is how it is now if I should select black you can see how it is so now it's not depending on your this is light that's the medium the light so now let's do the dark once we choosing now or let me use okay let's say once you use make use of the dark or you can actually choose either the black okay for example let me leave it as this dark now let's now see how you can customize you can see you have all this side here up dark how can we also customize let's say if you check on this place you are having desktop this place is actually like for example let me just pick a color here and you see how this is actually for the background if I should go out now you are going to see initially this place was the regular custom color like for example if I change another color you can see so now depending on what you want to give your background you can actually want to leave it as the general white as we have or you can decide to give it your own custom color for the background of that particular working side there now coming to this one we are having window border this window border has to do with all this side let me just click on it and show you let me say for example I'm using red you can see all these parts here is giving me red they have been that's where the title of every all my document like the title where the that's the title but that's where it's and in that particular place is actually talking about now if you're actually okay with your setting the way it is for this particular site if you're okay with it the way you want it to look like like for example I actually want my to be a little bit dark uh, not so dark not too I think this percentage should be okay for me then I'll start doing that I'll just click once you're done with it you click on okay if you're not okay with it you can click on this restore to default then you can see when you zoom you can actually zoom your screen to your taste how you want it to be you can return it back you can see your screen becomes tinier so when I zoom it comes up zoom again it comes up so 
you can see you can actually control the flow of how things appear or you can actually just come here and insert what you want maybe i want it 80 percent zoom so it will just once i go out it's going to give me my 80 percent zoom once i click on save for example okay if i don't need this i click on reset it's going to reset everything to the the previous stage you can see right now i was still going to maintain this 100 percent okay let's say i want a 70 percent zoom then once i'm done i click on ok because you can see it actually shrink to 70 percent so that is just i'm going to return it back to the 100 percent i need so i'll just hit on ok now on this part i'm going to leave it as default black then i'm going to hit ok let's say paraventure this is how i want my layout to be now what amazing thing about this i'm going to actually close this particular lm corridor file i'm going to close it and open it again so that you see you are going to see it's going to take this particular look this new look that is what is going to take all through my design let me close it and open it again so that you see how everything looks like closing it you can see when i close that it okay now this is my dashboard i'm actually going to open my corridor again so yeah just wait a little i think it's coming up all right you can see after closing it and opening it back again you can see it actually came with my default setting like the new setting I actually did so you can see this is how you can change your correct raw theme to whatever color you want or whatever shade you want actually need so if you like prefer a dark shade you can actually choose a dark shade if you prefer the light shade you can actually choose the light shade okay i think this is where we're going to stop for this particular tutorial all right in case you just use i've not yet subscribed to my channel i want to stay all you once again to hit on the subscribe button and make sure you hit on the notification bell so that you don't get so that i don't miss out on any video i upload new okay until next time bye for now